Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It is July 1st. It is the beginning of a new month, and I woke up with every intention <laughs> to shift the energy that I've been feeling for the last couple of weeks because it's been a stressful couple of weeks. Um, if you've seen the last episode, which I'll post up here, not quite sure yet just how much I'm going to include in that episode because I haven't edited it yet. Funny enough, right? Because you would have seen it by now and yet I don't even know what's going to be in it yet. But um, very long story short, I'm having to reapply for our state issued benefits uh, because of something that the state didn't do which that's how that always works, right? So um, <laughs> I am on hold right now. Yesterday I was on hold for an hour when I was told it would be 20 minutes and there was no resolution. Today I've been told that I'm gonna be on hold. I'm checking because my, my son's behind me and I'm trying not to get him on camera. Um, never mind, he left. Um, today I was told that I would be on hold for 42 minutes it's been, I don't even want to touch my phone because I'm scared that I'm going to hang up by mistake. It's been 15 and a half minutes so far. So I'm sure that they're not going to pick up anytime soon, but I'm still like, what if now that I'm busy is the time that they decide that they're going to answer? So whatever. Um, again, long, long, long story short, I'm supposed to be reapplying, but when I tried to go in there this morning, it says that I'm not eligible to reapply because it says that I still have benefits, which is not true because that's the whole point is that I don't have benefits. So... Yet again, <laughs> things are, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to comply. I want to do everything I can in the way that I'm supposed to correctly on time, but I can't do that if the big brother types are not allowing me to do that. But if the big brother types don't let me, it's no skin off their butts. I'm the one that gets shafted. So that's kind of been the theme for the last few weeks. Uh, and I'm tired of being all victim-y, I hate it. But anyways, um, it's just a matter of fact. That's something that I had to deal with today that I was hoping to not have to deal with, but it is what it is. We also have two therapies today, and Thursdays are a little frantic in the morning because our therapies are earlier and back-to-back. -back. But the nice thing is that Thursday, throughout the summer anyway, is the only day of the week that we have the afternoon off. Like after our lunch, we don't have anything else scheduled therapy wise. So um, whatever I don't get to this morning, I'll just get to in the afternoon. I have some editing that I wanna do as well for the, well, for the vlog that's meant to go up tomorrow, which is the last episode. And I already finished the video that's meant to go up on Saturday. So that's nice. I don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah. So I'm trying really, really hard because it is really, really hard right now to focus on the bright side and try to be optimistic. It's not really in my nature, but um, it is in my nature to try really hard to be optimistic. But the reason I have to try really hard is because I'm naturally quite pessimistic. I find that that's easier because then any good thing that happens, it's like, oh, great. What a nice surprise. But then if something bad happens or if the good thing doesn't come through, it's like, whatever, I was expecting that. And that's just naturally my way of being. So whatever. Uh, I'm feeling very rambly. I think I'm just, I'm estoy agitada. Like there's just a lot going on and I'm stressed out and traffic noise. And yeah, anyways, happy Thursday. <laughs> so I thought you might be interested to know friends that I am now an hour and 15 minutes into my 42 minute hold, still haven't come in contact with a human being, and we start therapy in less than 20 minutes. So again, this is why not being optimistic is the way to go, because I'm pretty sure I predicted exactly this, that I was gonna end up wasting my whole morning on hold and not getting anywhere. <laughs> and um, it's looking like that's exactly what's gonna happen. So am I shocked? Not really. Am I disappointed? only slightly because I'm not surprised. This is exactly what I thought was gonna happen. So I have literally 18 minutes before therapy begins. If nobody answers in the next like 10 minutes and that's really pushing it, I'm gonna have to hang up because there's no way that they're gonna answer and help with whatever my query is in time for me to start therapy otherwise. 
So yeah, I'm glad it was just a 42 minute wait because again, it's like an hour and 16 minutes and we're still here. Hey pals, it's much later in the day. We're done with our therapies and everything, but I didn't pop in and give you guys an update to the whole like on hold drama. Um, <laughs> I was on hold until no lie, like four minutes before I said, okay, this is the cutoff. Like once it gets to this time, I've got to go because I'm gonna be late to therapy. Somebody answered the phone four minutes before that uh, self appointed cutoff. And they were very quick, unfortunately. Not a whole lot that they could do as far as reinstating, which I already knew that, but this person was actually helpful and told me, like they explained to me how to get around the system so that I could apply for the exact benefits I needed to apply for when the system was not allowing me. And I told them, hey, listen, you've been great. You're literally the only person I've talked to throughout this whole mess that seems like they want to help. So let me ask you while I've got you on the phone. When I go through this process again, I know I'm gonna have to do another interview. So what can I do in, so that this doesn't happen again? And he's like, listen, thanks for asking. I really should have said that, which whatever. Yeah, you probably should have, but fine. I'm glad I asked anyway. Um, <laughs> and they told me, uh, just call this number back tomorrow maybe, but for sure by Tuesday, because of course Monday is, um, the 5th of July, 4th of July observed. So everything's gonna be closed. So any government office is gonna be closed. But they said by Tuesday, the renewal you do today will be in the system for certain. So just call this number back. So I'm not done <laughs> with the holding for hours thing, but they said, call back and just say, hey, I've just applied. I need to do an interview. Don't wait for them to send you the letter. Don't wait for any of that. Just call this number and you tell them, this is who I am, I've just applied, I need to do an interview. So that way you just knock it out, get it out of the way, and hopefully that expedites the whole process. Because you definitely qualify, which I knew, I knew that we qualified, I knew that we were gonna get approved no problem if everything had happened the way it was meant to. Um, so yeah, so I already filled in that application, that's already been submitted. I am gonna wait until Tuesday to make sure that it hits the system so that I don't waste an hour tomorrow on hold only to be told, what application? It hasn't hit our system yet. So thank you, traffic noise. Um, but yeah, so it's not over yet, but I do see the potential for resolution. So I already feel much better about that. So I'm editing now and uh, Kiddo and I just had a little baby photo shoot outside because July 1st, even though we do year round homeschool, I mean, we had therapy and schooling yesterday, we're doing it again today, nothing's really changed, but July 1st traditionally is when we do our back to school or first day of school type pictures. So we did that today and um, yeah, otherwise it's been busy. I have a lot that I need to do today, but there is a silver lining to the literal clouds that we're dealing with right now. So just wanted to give you guys an update. This is the life right here, watching wrestling matches from 2003, son. No filter, just a very pink sky on a very rainy South Florida afternoon. Happy Friday morning, friends. Um, it's July 2nd. July 2nd, in case you didn't know, is the apex of the year. It's the 184th, right? Wait, am I wrong? <laughs> Can I not count? It's the 183rd day of the year. So there's 182 days behind us and there's 182 days in front of us. Today is the midpoint of any given year. And so perhaps in that spirit, I've decided that even though I've already had my share of annoyances today, I am welcoming the day with a renewed energy. I am not going to uh, fall into or succumb to the funk that the universe really, really is trying super hard to put me in. Completely unrelated, my son woke me up at 5.40, again, 5.44 this time. I'm trying to pinpoint if there's like, is it that somebody's leaving their driveway at that time and it wakes him consistently? Or is there something electronic going off in his room that I'm not aware of? But whatever, point is, usually I'd go, uh, not today and crawl into his bed and try to get him to fall back asleep. Today I said, nope, that's it. You wanna wake up at 5.45? 
cool. We're gonna be up the whole day. You have to make it to bedtime now. Hopefully he'll fall asleep at a decent hour and hopefully he'll sleep through the night because I'm not gonna fall into this habit. I'm not gonna make this a thing. And um, I also done quite a few things already this morning because it's like nine o'clock, so I've had some time, but I'm finally finishing the Inhuman podcast episode nine. I believe they said they were gonna do 12 episodes, so it's not the end, even though this episode is their escape. And I have caught myself kind of, and like crying, not like, oh, I'm willing up, no, crying at this episode at least three times already so far. Um, it's not done yet. It's really, really good. It's a really good story. And Andrea and Haley did such a good job putting this together. Um, it's a very impactful episode, but I don't know if it would have the same impact if you didn't listen to the whole series, like leading up to this point, like everything it took to get to this point. So I know it's not the first time I mention it, but even if you're not a fan of true crime, as long as you can handle the triggered type topics, the topics that might be triggering, which they do a very good job at letting you know what they're gonna talk about in each episode, then I highly recommend you listen because it's really, really good. Uh, it's Friday, we only have one therapy today because one of our therapists is on vacation. And speaking of, for Monday, I wasn't sure if our therapy centers were gonna be open. Turns out they both are, or the two that we would see on Monday anyway. But our therapists decided to take vacation days that day. So we have a long weekend that I was not expecting. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, my battery's about to die, so I'll wrap it up. Just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on so far today, what the plan is for the rest of the day, and hopefully I remember to pick up the camera and show y'all a little something of what I get into. Let's try our best to make this a happy Friday. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> This is why I vlog. This right here, and I've said it multiple times in the last couple of weeks. You can't write the stuff that happens in my life. Um, and there's always something going on. There's always some cluster <laughs> going on. And I did say, probably in the last episode, maybe at some point during this one, that, you know, I'm, I'm trying to like move forward, change my energy, because I feel like lately it's just one thing after the next. And I said, who knows, maybe by the time this whole Medicaid thing gets handled, something else will go wrong, because that's just the way it is. Case in point, I have to laugh because it's just, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. If it wasn't happening to me, I wouldn't believe it. If you don't believe it, I don't blame you. So long story, I'll try my best to condense it, but I'm sure it is kind of a long story. We've had a landscaping service for years. It's a family friend. We don't really need a landscaping service because it's just for like the driveway area basically. But you know, to help the guy out, my dad hired him. He comes every week, every couple weeks, whatever. And um, unfortunately due to COVID, and you know, business dried up, the guy had to close his business down. So he let my dad know that a couple weeks ago. And so my dad went, man, that sucks, you know, imaginate, what are we gonna do? But you know, Godspeed. So my dad, very excited, and I feel so bad for my dad, but my dad went out very excited this morning and got himself a lawnmower, a weed whacker, the whole thing, and he just like, you know, resolved to do it himself because what are we gonna do? That's what's that's what it is. So he gets gas for the lawnmower, he's all revved up, he's doing his thing, and you know, I'm editing, my husband's playing video games, my son's watching videos on Amazon, etc. etc. And suddenly everything dies. All of the not the electronics, like the electricity is fine, but the internet's gone. So everything just stops. And my husband's like, oh, that's weird. Something must have happened. So he goes and he resets the box. That doesn't help. So I'm like, wow, that's really weird. Like, like what, what could have gone wrong? And he, my husband says, I think half joking, wouldn't it be funny if your dad ran over one of the cables outside? And I just went, because Murphy's Law, I feel like Murphy's Law has a, has a special hold on this house. Murphy's Law, if it can go wrong, it won't go wrong. So the fact that he even said that was like, yo, that didn't even occur to me, but how much you wanna bet that's exactly what happened. And like clockwork, 
my dad comes into the house to get a drink of water or, or something and I ask him, Papi, by any chance, did you run over any cables outside? And he goes, yeah. Like he was all jubilant and fine for a moment and his face just drops and he goes, yeah, I did. I'm like, oh, I was really hoping you'd say no. <laughs> and he's like, why, what happened? And I said, the internet is gone and we already reset the box and it's not working. So I don't know if maybe the cable has something to do with it. So he tells my husband, oh, Go, go see what I did there, please. And sure enough, the fiber cable shredded. Um, it's a holiday weekend. It's gonna be days before somebody will come out here. Now, to be fair, because my husband immediately, you know, was like, hold on though. That cable should not be exposed. They're obviously not well maintained. Like they're not maintaining their equipment. The technician that installed that cable did a crap job because that should be underground. Like there's, zero reason why that cable should have been exposed to the elements period like this shouldn't have happened yeah your dad did it but it shouldn't have happened it shouldn't have been able to happen because the technician should have made sure that that cable was nowhere near like the likelihood of this should should have been zero but if we've learned anything from the last few days or the last couple weeks is that no matter how wrong Goliath is and no matter how right David is, Goliath has a way of winning. It doesn't matter that the technician screwed up. It doesn't matter that the technician didn't bother to do his very, like the one job of installing the thing correctly and keeping it safe. It's gonna boil down to my dad running over with the lawnmower. And so we're gonna have to deal with whatever comes now. So, um, this video is meant to go up on Tuesday. I was just editing my plan with me, which is meant to go up on Monday. It's Saturday now. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna make that happen. I mean, I suppose I could upload it through my phone, but even then, like, all of the links I add and, like, my tags and all that stuff, I do that on the computer typically. I guess I'll have to use my hotspot. Our phone bills are gonna be insane <laughs> this month. Um, but we gotta do what we gotta do. My son's therapies, like, thank goodness we have Monday off, but that really doesn't mean much because soda's probably AT&T, so <laughs> how are we supposed to do therapy if we don't have internet access? Like, this is just, it's a cluster. It's a cluster. We weren't expecting it, but of course it happened. And so this is, um, this is the new thing. This is what we're dealing with right now. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Hey friends, it's uh, about four o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. Happy 4th of July. Um, my battery's about to die, I don't even know how. It just occurred to me that even though I've done my IG videos today and everything, I haven't picked up the camera to vlog. So, um, still no internet. <laughs> I somehow managed to get the plan with me ready to go for tomorrow morning, which is a miracle. I actually woke up at six o'clock just so that I could upload it on my phone, not even on the computer, just uploaded directly from my phone while my son was asleep so that he wouldn't be using my phone as a hotspot and like the data wouldn't have to compete. Um, our data, by the way, is completely slowed down now until the end of the month because we've been using, we used it all up yesterday, basically. Um, and the earliest we could hope for any resolution is tomorrow. But just because the technicians are coming out tomorrow doesn't mean that they're gonna be prepared to fix the problem tomorrow. Uh, because they don't even know what the problem is. They're just showing up. So, uh, anyways, um, it's been a very frustrating weekend and it sucks that this had to happen. But the way I'm trying to look at it is what great timing, right? Because last weekend I didn't have a phone. Could you imagine us not having internet in the house and also me not having a phone? I wouldn't be able to connect the hotspot for my son for him to watch videos on my iPad. So that would just be well, really difficult. It'd be really, really hard. <laughs> so as difficult as this weekend has been, at least we had a workaround of sorts or we've had, you know, we could have, we figured out something for now that I don't think we would have been able to accomplish last week. So 
whatever. If it had to happen, I'm glad it happened the way that it did. The battery died mid-sentence, so I'm not sure exactly where I got cut off, but in any case, it is Independence Day, or so it's called. I'm trying to keep kiddo out of the shot right now. So yeah, we'd all go to my uncle's house, me and all of our cousins, and you know, grill and do fireworks and play with water balloons and do all sorts of fun stuff. Last year, we did not do any of that. In fact, if I can find last year's 4th of July vlog, I guess I'll post it up here, but it looks like this one's gonna be even lamer than that because we didn't get fireworks this year. So um, it's just another really hot, you know, summer day, except we also don't have internet. So, hmm, try really hard not to be like curmudgeon-y about it, but you know, could be worse, right? Happy Sunday. All right, pallies, it's Sunday night, so even though it's not the end of our weekend, I am gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. I was so bored because we're not doing anything today. We don't have fireworks, we're not grilling. Because of my surgery, I can't get in the pool. Obviously, we're not going to the beach. There's just nothing going on today that makes it any different than any other day in this quarantine, really. So I decided to throw together some caramel apple like turnovers, I guess. I don't know what else to call them. I'm sure you can hear the fireworks going off in the background, by the way. And the family really, really liked them. My dad said it was the best dessert I've ever made and that he hopes I wrote it down how I made it, but I actually didn't. I really just threw everything together. So hopefully I can recreate it at some point. Of course, the fireworks are going wild now. I spent like 15 minutes outside in the complete dark getting super attacked by mosquitoes so that I could bring you guys what you'd expect, which is fireworks footage and yeah, absolutely nothing while I was out there. And now that I'm in here, it's just, well, fireworks. Anyways, um, <laughs> it's been, whatever, it's been a day. Um, I feel like we really have to put in an effort to make any day these days feel special because no matter what holiday it is or no matter what else is going on, it is just a day at home. So, um, you know, unfortunately, like I said, we didn't get to like grill or make s'mores or be with the family or even go swimming like we usually do. But, you know, maybe we'll do some of that tomorrow. Actually, I still can't swim tomorrow, but maybe we'll do something tomorrow that still feels kind of holiday. Okay, I get it, phone. Holiday weekend-ish. And um, yeah, it is a day off, which is nice because I wasn't expecting it. Our therapy centers are all open, but our therapists are taking time off. So, so are we, I suppose. Oh, and I can't believe I didn't mention it yet, but I guess, I mean, true Floridian, right? It's not a big deal until it's literally on top of us. Uh, we've been tracking uh, Tropical Storm Elsa, who was then Hurricane, or not who, but which was then named Hurricane Elsa, and now I think it's back down to Tropical Storm Elsa. First, we were directly in the path, but now we're like not even in the cone. Um, 
if we feel anything at all it'll just be like the residual rain from like the bands or whatever and that's supposed to be happening i believe monday night into tuesday morning but again it's like this is something that we've been watching for about a week and i didn't even bother mentioning it because these things have a way of either becoming a thing or not and so there's no point in worrying until it's like basically on top of us <laughs> but um floridian so yeah I feel like this vlog, even though I've done nothing this weekend and I feel like I've barely recorded, is probably going to be a little too long for my liking and I still have no idea how I'm going to get it up to you guys. Hopefully when they come through tomorrow to fix the internet, cable, etc, um, they actually leave it fixed before they go. Uh, otherwise I'll figure something out. I figured out how to do the plan with me so I guess I'll figure out the vlog as well. But what I was trying to say is that I'm sure that this is going to end up being way too long. So. I hope you guys have had a great weekend. Uh, let me know what you did over the long weekend, assuming you had a long weekend. I'd love to hear what everybody else has been up to. And I wanna thank you as always so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you'd subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.